they did an amazing job. What they did, and I agree, it was amazing. They took a they time took of economic of disparity. No, they took a time, the, uh, the time of economic disparity, where we're, none of us were allowed to work, and none of us were allowed to um, go out, leave our homes. So, if you would take that that environment that's a depression that's worse than a recession that's a depression if 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 that happened naturally that people weren't allowed to work and they weren't allowed to leave their houses um and they didn't leave their houses and they didn't work that's horrible situation they took it and made it the most prosperous time in history so they did do a good job but jack there's side effects to that of course you know it's like you go out and and i don't know you just drink a lot well there's side effects you get a hangover we're living the hangover of what he did and now and they get bonuses for doing that because they did a great job but now that we're all um, suffering and the Bank of Canada for the first time in history is losing money now they should have to all pay bonuses back give them all back because what's happening is this is this, this problem is deep it's a big problem and honestly I think I uh, honestly am surprised that he's still there because now, what's happening? The banks have record profits at a time when they can't get profits. How? Why do they have profits? Is that what you were going to ask? No, no, no. I was talking about, like, if we want to get rid of him, how did, like, who, who hires him? Justin Trudeau. Oh, okay. Appointed, appointed him. Appointed. Okay. Yeah, exactly. And you get rid of him. And, and I'm not saying that he's no good. Okay, I'm just saying he's no good as a leader. He would be good as a consultant. He's a very bright man. He knows what he's doing. Yeah, unfortunately, but bright doesn't mean that you I, can execute. Well, bright, bright. Unfortunately, he's too bright. So he's following things, and, and uh, it isn't just a um, Bank of Canada problem. This problem is a, a few central banks because they all drank the same Kool-Aid. Let's shut down the economy. Let's make people not work. Uh, let's record uh, the COVID deaths, uh, even if it's not a COVID death, let's record it as a COVID death, make it, make the situation worse, make everybody take these vaccines that actually don't work, and then let's go back to normal and see what happens. Well, this is what happens now. Now, the bank, the banks are recording record profits. How is this possible when their incomes are down over half? How are their incomes down over half? Because their major incomes are from profits are from mortgages, right? The mostly mortgage, and so they got um, their mortgages are cut in half, and their price point is down twenty percent, twenty five percent. So they're 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 not making as much money. But here they are recording record profits. How's it possible? Because the the Bank of Canada, when they put this money into the system during the recession. What they did was they created bonds for the Bank of Canada. They created bonds, gave them to the banks, and then bought them back from the banks. And so you're looking at what that doesn't make sense. What do you mean? They create bonds and they're going to buy the bonds? Yes, but they're not allowed to buy the bonds from the Bank of Canada. They have to sell them to the banks first and then buy them back. And you're wondering why the hell is that? Why would you have to do that? Well, because then they couldn't put money into the system. If they didn't, we would actually all have to vote on it. And who do you think is going to vote on, on giving away all this money? No, it's just not going to happen. It's too big of an ordeal. Uh, a lot of Canadians are going to vote against it. And um, it's not going to happen as easily as they were able to make it happen. So, so they, they have this little trick, this financial trick that they can do. And what's happening is, is that when they, let's, let's just make up some numbers here. I'm making them up. So let's pretend that the Bank of Canada puts out the bond for the government for um, at a rate of 25 uh, basis points, so, because that's what the rate was. We're just making up the 25 basis points to, to um, all of this list of very special people, which are corporations, financial institutions. And um, so then they get to buy it at quarter of a point, and then they sell it to the Bank of Canada. So they buy the debt and then sell it right away to the Bank of Canada. 
and they sell it at a profit. Let's just call it 26 basis points. It's just not, not a big profit, a small profit. They sell it to back to the Bank of Canada. So who's responsible for paying the interest on the debt now? The banks that bought it or the Bank of Canada that bought it from the banks? Bank of Canada is now responsible for the debt. So what happens is Bank of Canada now raises the rates from quarter now up to 3.75. So now they're paying 3.75. They bought it at a quarter of a point. So the banks are paying quarter of a point to the government while the Bank of Canada is paying three and three quarter points to the banks. So the banks are getting all this profit. So now they're recording record profits. So basically all that happened there, it's a shell game where the, um, where they get to create money and bring it into the system and the Canadian taxpayers pay for it. And that's the end result because the Bank of Canada is running a loss because they can't pay for it. They're not making enough money to pay for it. So they're running their very first loss in history because of this maneuver. The, and who are they paying this loss to? The banks. And where are they getting the money to pay it from? The taxpayers. So it's it just a big scam. Well, actually, I shouldn't say scam. That would be wrong because it's not a scam. It's actually legal, but it's wrong. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed it. And please let us know your thoughts in the comments as well as any questions you may have. We're live most Saturdays at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure to tune in. If you're interested in learning more about real estate, click the link in the description to sign up and we'll send you a series of educational videos all about real estate. Thank you again for watching and remember to like this video, subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so you can stay up to date on all our future uploads.